my name is Caroline. I'm a functional consultant uh, at Odoo for now more than one, uh, one year. Uh, today we'll discuss a bit about um, digital campaigns and then uh, digital marketing together. Um, so first, there is like a problem. Okay, so we'll first uh, discuss about the new application uh, launched this year for, uh, with the new version. Then we'll discuss a bit about uh, digital marketing and then I will uh, present you two types of campaign that you can uh, manage in Odoo. The first one is the campaign with uh, marketing automation and the second one is uh, the campaign with social marketing which is uh, one of the new application. I will uh, conclude it. So what are the brand new apps? In Odoo, uh, in the version 12 of Odoo, we already get two uh, amazing applications. The first one uh, is email marketing, and then uh, we also had um, already marketing automation. In the new version, uh, we launched two new applications, uh, the SMS marketing and uh, the social marketing application. So, uh, what are they? The email marketing application is an application that helps you to um, yeah, design emails, uh, powerful content uh, with just few drag and drop. I will show you how it is uh, uh, during the demonstration. But uh, it is really easy to uh, create powerful email and to send it to uh, the right audience, so the, the right uh, people you want to you wanna touch. The send content by SMS, so the SMS marketing uh, new application is quite the same as email marketing as you can um, uh, send powerful content to uh, a targeted audience, but uh, by SMS that, <laughs> that time. Um, the marketing automation helps you to really create um, um, yeah, journeys, so customer journeys, and uh, to automate really much more than emails. Now you will be able also to add uh, SMS content to those uh, uh, campaign that you create with marketing automation. So now it's uh, really a powerful tool uh, with uh, the combination with marketing uh, market SMS marketing and uh, um, email marketing. And finally, the, the last one, uh, the social marketing app uh, really helps you to, communi to communicate with, the, with the, your audience from all the, all the stream you have. So let's say you have a page on Facebook, you have a page or you have a few pages on, fa on Facebook, you have a page on Twitter, it just helps you to gather all the, all the, um, all the I mean, all the different tools on one and only tool that you can use. So why the digital marketing? I, want, I just want to uh, a bit discuss about the advantages of using digital marketing now. Uh, as you uh, all know, digital marketing is um, a powerful tool to uh, be able to reach uh, many people uh, in a very cost-effective way. And uh, the, the, in my opinion, the main, the main advantage of digital marketing is that it's um, really easy to, me to measure uh, actually the, the, the result. Also, you have a global reach as you can yeah, send content to everyone in the world. Uh, lower cost uh, once again, then the the, the trackable and me measurable results, the al also the way to um, the the advantages of personalization that you can uh, really send content to a targeted audience, uh, so you can really target the the um, I mean the um, the people you want to send it to and uh, send the right content to the right person, the openness. Um, also, the, the way it improved the conversation rate, as it's uh, really easy for the, for the customer actually to just click from an email, let's say, and to uh, just um, reach your website. And it's quite easier to, um, to sell when you send the, the, the marketing with, let's say, an email, just one click to go to the website, as when you see, <coughs> let's say, a, a billboard or something on the road, you need to think about the fact that you have to go on the website and then to sell. So it's just a shorter way to, uh, to sell. And finally, it's helped to increase the brand loyalty. So all that, all that together, just um, said, the, I mean, the, the main conclusion here is that digital marketing will really help you to, to sell uh, more and uh, uh, more faster, I mean faster. 
So why are you using Odoo to do uh, digital marketing? Because Odoo, uh, through all the application we have, really help you to combine um, all the advantages of all the application together and to create powerful com uh, campaigns through all the different channels you want to use. Uh, so yeah, once again, it helps you to craft some end-to-end uh, -end customer journey uh, by integrating SMS, by integrating um, email content, and finally, to get all the all the metrics uh, together, all the metrics uh, on a single uh, tool, which is a do, and uh, to see where you are on uh, on your uh, on your on, uh, on achieving your goals. So the first the first type of uh, campaign that I want to discuss today is the uh, marketing uh, automation application. So for uh, the marketing ap uh, automation application, we have. Uh, four main steps that I will uh, show you after after the, the um, after the well I will do a quick demo after um, those slides. So it just helps you to target the uh, exact um, database model on the system that you want to send uh, the campaigns to. Then it also helps you to uh, use the filters uh, to really uh, select the the people you want to touch, uh, and then. The, the main goal of aut uh, marketing automation is that you have a real link between all the database and uh, um, your campaign. So you can uh, yeah, create some activities based on specific condition. Uh, let's say uh, when you start a campaign, you launch a first activity, then you can create activities that are uh, triggered by the result of the first activity. So uh, let's say after another action, uh, based on the result of that first action, so let's say if the, email, the first email that you sent was sent, was open, was bounced, was uh, clicked, and so on. So it's all thanks to the the, um, the link with the database. It helps you to create uh, and to uh, update your records on the database from the campaign. And finally, uh, yeah, you can trigger action, but also track the results. So how many SMS uh, were sent, how many uh, email were sent, uh, received, uh, replied, and so on. And um, so. Oh, oh, it is. I said uh, there is four main step steps. The first one is that you can target specific database model and use filters. So you see here that you can choose <coughs> the target you want to reach, so the target you want to um, send that campaign to. So you just uh, combine the target with the filters. You can create different type of filters. So let's say you want to. Um, yeah, you, you can create different filters. You can select if you want to um, uh, apply, I mean, all the filter together. So if it's, uh, if all the, the domains need to be, all the filter need to be, um, need to be, um, um, I mean, uh, reach, I mean, used, or if uh, only uh, one of them and so on. And then you see that I created first activity, but I will show you that uh, after that. So this, the second step is that you can, uh, from an activity, trigger uh, new activities. So based on specific condition, as I said here, but you can create and use all the triggers option here. So let's say if you want to um, launch the second, uh, the second activity based on the result of the first one, or if you want just to uh, make a, a time condition, uh, and so on. And finally, you see, you can really craft an end-to-end customer journey by uh, creating a child activity, so based on the result of the first one. And it's yeah, quite visual on the, on the database. So the last step, and uh, I think the, maybe the, the most important one, is the, um, the way how you can, uh, with Odoo, track all the results uh, by activity, but also for the main campaign. Uh, so I'll show you that now from the database up. So here we have the marketing automation. I'll just take a seat, it will be easier for me. So let's say I want to create a new campaign. Uh, campaign up to, uh, I choose I want to target my contact. Uh, but let's say with a filter, you can yeah, search uh, all the filter here. So let's say I want to each only the customer with the country um, Belgique. See that I, I have zero, zero record because I don't have any contact on my database uh, that are that have the the Belgic uh, uh, the Belgian country set. And here you have the plus button, so you can create another filter 
by clicking on plus. And you see here, you can match uh, records with all of the following rules or only uh, with any of the following rules. So you can try to get uh, the, 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 the right people reach. So I will just remove that to get my eight records here. So let's, I need to create the first activity here. Let's create the first activity. So I want to send the first email, a uh, welcome, welcome email, let's say. Here you have so three activity type. The first one is the email, so send email. The second one, a, a server action, so the, it's, it helps you to create some, uh, to generate some action on the system. And finally, the SMS one, I'll, let's say create first email. Here you have the mail template you want to use. You can or, uh, choose one that is already existing or create one with the uh, mar marketing, um, with the email marketing application. So it's quite simple, just select one mail body, like a team, you open it, you uh, can simply change it, uh, add content and so on. And as soon as you are, uh, I mean, happy with the, happy with, so you see here, change style, you can really uh, select all the, the, the layout that you want. And then as soon as you're ready with the, with the content, you can, yeah, we need to, put the subject on it, you can simply save it, and um, the um, email will be used here uh, as mail template. Finally, you choose the, the trigger, so let's say, as it is the first activity of my campaign, I want to send it uh, one hour after the beginning of the campaign. It makes no sense to make it, I mean, happen after the another activity, as there is no other activity. And finally, you can still use some filter, uh, some domain here, so let's save and close it. And so you see, you have uh, the first uh, activity here. I, I need to save to be able to create a child activity. Um, and here we have a new, uh, I mean, uh, a new feature from the from the V13, uh, which is different. Uh, no, I mean, which was not uh, already existing. Is that you can create child activity just by uh, putting your mouth here, and you see you have all the child activity based on, uh, on the result of that first uh, campaign. So the first one is just created as another activity, but the, the second is if that first activity was open, if that first email was open, then create a new activity. If it was not opened, if it was uh, replied, if it was not replied, if uh, it was clicked, if it was not, and finally, if it was simply bounced. So let's say if my first email didn't reach the the, the audience, if the email was bounced, I want to send now an SMS. So I just click on bounce and I say SMS, SMS. Let's choose one that is already existing. So uh, hello. I don't know what's on. Let's open it. Oh, I think we, we think we don't have your right email address. How sad it is as we just try to send you a free product coupon by email. So I just send that by SMS, by selection. Yes, by selecting the activity type SMS. Once again, the trigger here is already completed by uh, the fact that we uh, click on the child activity new tool. So it's quite simple. And finally, it's still the domain, save and close. And you see that you have the first activity. And if the mail was bounced, let's send an SMS one hour uh, after uh, that was bounced. And, and so on. And you can create child activity on, on child activities. And you can really create a full, full, full um, uh, campaign with um, many activities. So let's just show you one that is uh, already running. So you see here, you have the result based on the, um, all the activities. So that first uh, welcome email that I sent through that first campaign, I see that six emails were, succe were uh, successfully uh, sent and uh, when and so on. Rejected, uh, here is, you see all the, all the yeah, result clicked, replied, bounce, and so on. And uh, it's the same for uh, the SMS uh, application, so, I mean, SMS activity. So it's quite simple to, to see all the results from one campaign. You see how many templates were used, how many SMS templates were used, how many clicks, no click, and how many participants in the campaign. So that's uh, the first type of campaign that I wanted to show you. Let's uh, now present the second one. So the marketing, uh, um, the, com the marketing campaign, but the campaign with the so social marketing application, which is a new application. So there is here three main steps. The first one is that you uh, can link 
all your social media and that you have to link all your social media to a do. The second one is that uh, you create a new schedule so you're not forced to uh, just send a uh, quick post and send it now. You can really schedule uh, all your posts and when you want to you want to post on uh, your uh, social media pages, and uh, f finally you track the results. And here, the main uh, the main um, advantage is that you have a real uh, link between your database, so all your application, and that social mar uh, social uh, new app. And so uh, you don't need anymore to go on Facebook to see the result on, on, I mean, of your post on Facebook, to go on Twitter to see your, the result of your tweet on Twitter. You have everything on a single place. And um, you can see from a campaign how many, let's say, quotations you created, uh, how many uh, revenue you made on the campaign, and so on. So everything is on a single place. Uh, okay, so the three steps. The first one is uh, the link with the social media page. So you see here, I have one Facebook page, which is uh, CAHOXP uh, the <laughs> And then you have the CAHODU uh, Twitter account with uh, under that all the posts uh, that are uh, managing from Odoo. So the second step is to create and uh, schedule content diffusion. So you see here that those were uh, posts posted, but that one is scheduled, so it's not posted yet. Uh, it will be posted uh, when I schedule it, so later on. And finally, the, the main, um, uh, the main uh, advantage to, to be able to track the results, so you see from that campaign how many quotations were made and how many revenue uh, uh, was made from that campaign. A lot of revenue in that case. Um, so let's, f before the conclusion, let's go to the database. So you see here the social marketing application. How easy it is to add a stream. So you simply click on it. Or let's say I want to link a new account, Facebook account, and in one click, the link is made. <coughs> you see all the results. So the result from your, um, from your um, pages. You can simply click in inside to get on the, on the Facebook results st uh, stats. So you have also, I mean, from Odoo and access to your statistic in uh, Facebook, but you have like a, a, a quick recap here. And finally, you see all the posts, uh, not only the posts you created, uh, so the posts you sent, but also the comment from your, uh, your visitors. So here, let's say, uh, when is your talk? It's today. <laughs> it's now. And so uh, from the Facebook page, let's go here. So you see all your posts, but you also see all the comments. Uh, from the visitors. So how it works, uh, once you uh, connect like all your, your um, social media, you can simply create a new campaign, so create a new one. Up. Save. So three uh, main tool from the social, uh, social um, app the uh, same social post, so you can send posts on your uh, feeds, or a uh, push notification. So um, let's create a push notification. I want to send the first push notification to um, the visitor of my website, but also the visitor of my fa uh, Facebook um, page. Uh, welcome to OXP. And you see that uh, all the, the followers of my uh, Facebook page and all the people that are just joining my website will get all those um, push notifications. Once again, you can uh, send it now or schedule it for later. And if it's later, you just select the, the date and the hours you want, it, you want it to be sent. So it's really, it's really helpful to be able to send, um, to send uh, information to your, your customers at the right time. So to, to be sure that it will be, it will be useful for you uh, uh, and uh, and get uh, in the proper way. So that's the first um, the first thing you can do. And then you can simply create campaigns with a, a lot of um, social activities. So I'll just open an uh, already existing one. So you see uh, that um, here uh, all the results. That one is not a good example. That one. Nope. That one. 
That one is the one I show you on the slide. So you see that I post a lot of uh, I posted a lot of uh, information on my social media page. One is still scheduled, and finally, from uh, um, let's say a new post, uh, some social post. I will I will let's say create a post where I just want my customer to go on my website and to uh, buy a product. So I um, create. Not a push notification, but a, um, a Facebook post. Let's say, go to. I will just put the link of my website on the content. Go to and buy a product up post. <coughs> okay, so it's posted. Let's go on Facebook to see if it's there. It's there, so I'll just click on it. Uh, click on it, but open it with a incognito page to be sure that I will buy a product as a as a new customer because I'm logged in the database. Okay, let's go on the shop. I'll do experience. Uh, let's add it to cart. <coughs> Press checkout. Next. Pay now. Okay, so it's both. Now if I go back on the database, from the sale <coughs> app, I see that I have a new uh, quotation here. It, it's sent because uh, it was confirmed uh, by the customer. So um, let's confirm it and create an invoice. So to make revenue on that quotation, post. And finally, if I go back now on the, on the um, social marketing app on the campaign, um, that one. I see now that I have six quotations linked to um, that campaign and that my last quotation that I just created is there and the revenue uh, just increased not that much by one euro, but you see here that um, everything is linked. So that's the main, uh, the main advantage of the, of the social app, finally, track the results. You have everything here, how many clicks, how many posts, uh, how many opportunities created from that campaign, uh, how many revenues, uh, how many engagement, and everything in a single place. So if I get back here. My conclusion uh, is quite simple, is that um, it's really powerful as everything is on a single uh, tool. All your um, <coughs> All the tools that you used to use, uh, that you used to use uh, separately will now be on a single place. And you see, from the contact, you can uh, send SMS, you can send email, you can uh, get in touch with them with the social marketing application. Then uh, with marketing automation, you can create powerful uh, campaigns, as well as with the social application. Everything linked to, uh, can be can link to the website or you do some uh, sale. And finally, uh, you uh, get there, which is the, maybe the most important part of uh, all the companies, you make money. So thank you. There is like a few other talk uh, about that topic. Uh, uh, <coughs> my colleague Luke already made a, a, a powerful, uh, yeah, powerful presentation of the new social application yesterday. But we, uh, I mean, not yesterday, the day after is the day before. But we uh, have two other talk today, uh, the SMS marketing. Um, with Julien today, and finally the advanced B2B email marketing campaigns uh, that is given by a, a, a partner. So thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to, uh, to come in and join. Facebook and, and 
So, sorry, what's the question? So how do you manage the, the authentication? The, the credential. The credentials, yeah. Yeah, it's through some API with the, with the, social, with the social apps. And Odoo, we already made the bridge between those. So that's why uh, only uh, Facebook and, um, and uh, uh, Twitter are now uh, available. We hope to maybe later be able to link to uh, also to, to LinkedIn or to uh, Instagram, we try to. Uh, but yeah, that's because of uh, a lot of discussion and the, the, the way it's easy to get the information from that app and to make the bridge. So that's why. So, so the, the credentials are linked to the Odoo yeah. login ID? Yeah. Actually, you, you just, you I, I didn't make it there, but you just connect uh, by, uh, one, it's one click. So you just click on connect to add a new stream. You click on add Facebook page. And if you are connected to the Facebook page, you just allow it from Facebook to uh, make the connection. And once it's done, yeah. it, it, will, it will be linked as soon as, I mean, until you didn't uh, cut the, the, the link from Facebook. Okay. okay? I have two questions. Yeah. One is this SMS, is it only for Belgian community or is it no. international? No, it's international, it, yeah. How it is going to be charged because it's It's, it's linked to the, uh, to the in-app purchase application. So you have to buy credits. Uh, to buy SMS credits to be able to send uh, um, content by SMS. Mm -hmm. The other part is uh, the uh, time of the click, when yeah. the customer clicks. Can yeah. we see some population or some trend, what time do they click? Yeah. Late in the morning, noon time, late in the evening? I, I, I'm not sure, I will just try to verify it now. But I think uh, you can uh, have yeah, some tracks on the, on the clicks, but let's try it. So see, yeah. Um, mm -mm. So you see you have the, no, you just have the number of clicks from one website, so you cannot open it, eight clicks. So now you can simply uh, see uh, some reason, the count, where it was made, but uh, not the time. It's not the case, let's try it, no, only the count, so not the time, it was clicked. Last column of statistics, what is it about? Here? I think it's the, the the link to the statistics of the. In that case, it was clicked on the website, so the, it's the link uh, to the statistics on the website, and you have the same with the links to the statistics on Facebook or the link to the the statistic on on uh, Twitter and so on. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> oh, see one. Yeah. Uh, can you manage the budget of uh, campaigns on Facebook through Google? Uh, budget. Budget, yes, uh, uh, you mean uh, with the with the Facebook uh, with the uh, Facebook market? Uh, yes, no, it's not. So it's really only linked to the revenue you made uh, from uh, your database. So from your website. Okay. So what what we can do from inside Voodoo is only making normal posts. We yeah. Can, we can make uh, ads. You mean on Facebook? Yeah, it's yeah. that. So but, but on the post you can yeah add a few links, add an image, add um, yeah you can really it's exactly the same as uh, create a post from Facebook. But no, there is nothing with the market uh, marketplace on Facebook. Maybe this is something you need to consider. In yeah, in the sure. <laughs> it's a good feedback. No question. Oh yeah. <laughs> Target on the point of sale. Order line. Order line, no. No, because it's, yeah, I mean, you, you need, the link between the campaign and the sales is made from the click. So you will need to buy it from the website by clicking on the link from the post to be able to get that link made. So for the email and SMS marketing? Yeah. Can I target a particular Oh, you mean from the, you mean, let's say, contact from the post? From yeah, the, so if someone purchased yeah. That, yeah. Uh, it's possible as you can use all the filters. So you can say let's let's you target the contact list, and then you add filters on a, on a, on maybe not on product send, send no maybe not, but you can still create some uh, um, some uh, mailing list or a mailing content <coughs> by do, doing the filter uh, yourself and then just uh, reimporting a new contact list. It's, it's possible. And I mean, I'll not show you that now, but it's really easy to do that. Uh, if you want to discuss, we can. I think it's now. And yeah, you have maybe still some question? No? Okay, then thank you very much.
cette interview.